Before we even start grading, let me just give you a quick behind the scene on what is really going down between primaries and log wheels. And this is the best way to explain it, okay? I can I can try to, you know, talk through it and commentate and grade and try to tell you the difference, but this is going to make it black and white, okay? So this is a grayscale image. My scopes are right here, so focus right here. I'm going to talk you through what's going down right here. So let's start with our gain and just focus on this guy right here and see what happens, okay? So if I take this right here, my wheel, and increase it, look what's happening to all of my parameters right here. They're moving in unison, okay? And then if I bring it down, like, just look at how organic the curve is when I'm doing this, okay? Now, let me just go to log wheels. This is my log wheels right here. Highlights look exactly the same. Almost everything is the same besides the wording. So you might be like, you know, they're the same thing. And I feel like a lot of people are mistaken and that's why they use one or the other. But I'm here to literally reveal something that's gonna change your life. So now we're in highlights. Here it's called gain, here it's called highlights. And I'm gonna try to do the same thing, but just look what happens here, okay? What is the difference? What's really going on? Look what is happening to the entire image. Look at this, like this line that's happening right here. This can translate to insane amount of banding when you're working with 10 bit, 8 bit images, something that's not, you know, 12 bit or more. You're going to see so much banding and people are usually just driven crazy and they're like, Kazi, what's going on with my images? How to get a good look? Well, look at how much breakage that's happening right here. Okay. Because this is very finite control. I mean, what you're doing here is co the complete opposite to what you saw we were doing with the gain. And then when we take it the other direction, so basically what that tells you is that this is for more granular control than overall control, you know, um, or effect to your picture. Now, let me just show you really quick what gamma does in our primaries wheel. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to move it around and look at how gentle this curve is, right? Like just look at how gentle this curve is. Let me reset this real quick. Go back to my log wheels and midtone, which is, you know, their version of gamma, quote, end quote. Let's see what happens when I try to move this. Just look at what is going on. Look at this gunk that's happening here. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it because if you just want to get in there and make a granular change and maybe, you know, push or nudge your skin a little bit here or a little bit there, then there's nothing better than using your log wheels, okay? But as an initial look, no way. This is one of the biggest amateur mistakes people make. People think that, oh, should I be using, I'm a color wheel, I'm a primaries guy, I'm a log wheel guy. That's not how it works. I'm going to show you exactly how it works, but let me just show you the last one here, which is lift in our primaries wheel. Look what's happening. Basically the opposite of what was happening with gain, but everything is moving as one compared to when I go under the log wheels, go under shadow, and it's gonna do the same thing that, you know, we were, the results that we were getting in highlights. And look at how controlled it is. Now, one more thing we can do here is that we have finer control right here with our low range and high range. Now, if I wanna limit this even more, I can come in here and I can go, hey, really just, just affect this part, like affect this part, leave everything else alone and I can do that here. Or I can make it more gentle and say, hey, affect a little bit more, give me a little bit closer to the kind of result I can get in my primaries, but still having a bit more control. And guys, if you're enjoying the content, then I highly encourage you to check out this training. It will answer any question that you may have as a beginner colorist and then some. It also comes with tons of freebies, practice footage, power grades, and LUTs. Link is going to be in the description. And on that note, I will see you guys in the next video.